Hello, yesterday I have received some very nice locks from Mr. Black Magic here. And among other things, um, I have showed everything in the other video, but among other things, there were nine, I think it was nine, very nice challenge locks. These three I didn't try yet, I will try them later on. These three, the cheap side from Harry Bow, the Delta I from Rune and number 56 by Jeffrey Post. I have tried yesterday and opened all of them. They were not very hard, but were very interesting. But the real jewel here are those three. So to start with something small, I took that one today. I already opened it once or twice and I would like to show how it works. Um, first time takes a little bit, but after it's, after it's opened once it actually works quite nicely. There is a manual here about what to do and not to do and how to get it. We might need it later. There is, I'll just show that it works, the key and everything. Here you see it works, but I'm now putting it aside if it agrees to go out. And let's see if I can open it on camera. Come on here. Yeah, that should work. All right, I will be using, for tensioning, I will be using this pick because there is no space to put a tensioner inside. So I will be doing it just like that. And I now know that the first pin, you better not touch it at all. And let's see how it works with the other ones. So I'm pretty much just touching second, third pin because I know that the first is not really part of the game. I just need to get second and third. And I think it's already open. Oop. Here it is. Yeah, so first time took, of course, a lot longer. First time I didn't know that you really have to push it hard when it's opened. So it probably was open already, but I just didn't know it and kept poking and or setting pins and all kinds of things that I should not have been doing. But anyways, let's let's cut it. Oh, by the way, yeah, here is a key. So you see, it's some quite crazy beating normally, but in such a tiny lock with such a tiny pins, it doesn't make that much of a difference if you just know what to do. Okay, so let's Rearrange the stuff in a bit. We will need this and we will need that. And what else do we need? We need something to put the camera on. I 
hope it will work. Yeah, let's try. You spring, come back. Here is a spring. Tweezers. Um, next one. Spring. Oh, I'm not holding it in the camera. Oh, let's try that. Yeah, that's better. And finally, let's remove the core. That's probably the trickiest part of the gutting. Because there is a rod that holds it all together and it doesn't really want to come out. Oh, I remember. There is a trick for that. You can actually pick it out. I think. One, two, three, and four. Yep, here it goes. Let's put it a little to the side to make sure that it's not a pin that needs to be picked and let's remove the core uh, I'll close it first not to lose the spring all right so let me zoom in again or zoom in even more I hope it can be seen something yep yeah. So here are the chambers, tiny chambers with tiny counter milling, front of the keyway with anti-tensioning measures, the keyway blocker, here what do we have here? Thread for the tap screws. Inside, I don't think that there is milling here. Let's see. Nope. 
there is no milling here, just the core, but that's that's enough for this tiny guy. And the pins, uh, which needs to be rearranged a little. Let me make it nice. So here are the pins. Yeah, that's it. I guess I will be putting it back together without putting it in camera. That's it for now. Nice little challenge lock. And let's see how the other go. Bye.